Hi, my name is Nadine Werner and I work as a book and paper designer. Today I'm showing you how to make a little sketchbook, a cahier, so one little book with one section and a pamphlet stitch. The first step is picking two sheets of papers. I'm using this Saint Armand Canal paper. I like the texture and to seeing the fibers. You have a long sheet, the grain direction is already right, so you can fold it. And now you have only two parts where you have to tear it to get your section. So I'm lining up the ruler to tear off 15 millimeters. Pick my bone folder and score the line so I can fold it and then I can use my bone folder to tear the paper. When I tear the paper for the section, because it's quite thick, if I would use the same strip distance for the two inner sheets, then they would stick out. So what I do, I take off a little bit more, like two millimeters, and that makes that the inner two leaves are not sticking out. We fold the sheets in half so that we have four double sheets. Before I would cut the forage, I would put the section in the book press, so between two boards and cardstock. If I do more section for a book, I would do this overnight, that they lay flat. At home, you can use your bone folder or put it under something heavy. Then I mark on the foredge twice my width I want to have for the section. I use the exacto knife. I don't press too hard with the knife, so I just cut like one or two sheets at a time. And I just have to be aware that the knife is in a 90 degree angle. So now I will choose the paper for my cover. And today I'm using the Cairns on Me Towns paper. First thing for the cover is that I check the grain direction and then I'm measuring my width of the section minus two millimeters on the scoring board. A scoring board is one board with a gap where you can press down the paper with your bone folder to get a nice score. Then the first score we can fold. So I'm lining up on the top edge and then we're working on the spine. So the next measurement is our section plus the four edge lip. Because this section is quite thick, I choose to make three scores on the spine so that our cover is lying flat afterwards. The last score we need is the score for the front cover flap. And that's the same measurement we had before, so the section plus our lip. When all measurements are right, we can prepare a template for making the holes for sewing the section to the cover. So we cut a stripe of paper at the same height of your cover. You can mark the middle and 50 millimeters from top and bottom. Then you can place the section into your cover pushing it right to the edge of the table, making sure that the section is lying right in the middle and you can hold it with something heavy. To make the holes, we're using the O, so we want to push over the edge of our table, so then it's easy to use the needle to go through the hole. I'm running the thread through the backs so that the fibers are tight and it's easy to run through the holes. I use double my height of my little book. We start in the middle from the inside, back inside on the top hole, going over the middle hole to the bottom one and back outside to the spine. I'm pulling it to the right so that the paper don't tear and I'm pushing now on both sides and making two knots and then I cut the thread. And now we can work on the outside design. So we choose to make a cutout. So I use the square to start with my top line. So I choose to mark it first with a pencil so then it's easier to do the cutout. And I try to stop before the end of my line so that I don't cut over this edge and I rather stop before and turn it afterwards and do a little cut so that we have nice corners. On the inside flap, we can use a double-sided tape, gluing it right to the edge. Now we can measure our little paper we want to insert, that it's fitting between the double-sided tape and my foredge. Then we peel off the foil from the double-sided tape, close the flap, 
And now you can slide in your paper. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. We would love to see your designs. If you like, you can share it on social media. And be sure to subscribe to the Opus YouTube channel. I wish you lots of fun for your projects.